Shuafat Palestinian camp, East Jerusalem. About 35,000 people live in this refugee camp. Afaf has been living here for the past 15 years. Over a period of two weeks, she attended a music workshop where she learned how to use music and sounds in the classroom. It changed me a lot. I was very shy. When it was my turn to move my body in the workshop, I didn't know what to do because I wasn't used to it. But now I can create a few moves and I became a leader with my students. Three times a week, Afaf attends the music workshop in Bethlehem. For the last six years, the NGO Musicians Without Borders has been teaching how music and sounds can act as an aid to teaching and learning. The trainers give teachers and social workers new activities and tools that they can use in their daily work. A combination of song, dance, body percussion and musical games. I think it is a fantastic way to become confident. It's a way to experiment and explore and be really creative. And as we know, being able to be creative with things is a great way to learn. Some of the activities we do also help the teacher to relax, help the teacher to take care of herself. Because especially here in Palestine, it's not easy to work in the schools. There are many issues, there are many problems, so also the teacher needs to take care of herself or the social worker. Palestinian women learn how to move, to use their voice and their body as an instrument to create music. This workshop helped Afaf to express herself better. In our tradition, speaking in a raised voice is forbidden. As females, we also can't move however we want to. This is down to our education in conservative Palestinian society. But when you're with the kids at school, you can use movement in the way you want. You forget it's forbidden. In fact, I realize it's not forbidden. It's only our education that makes everything forbidden. Afaf teaches a primary class in a school in East Jerusalem. This morning, kids are learning how to count and write letters by using a number of musical activities. Afaf notices that kids have more focus and greater concentration. All of them participate. She started a revolution in her school. Due to the success of this musical education approach, her workmates also want to attend the next music workshop in leadership training.